it was my first time in New York City last January and I already had my prejudice about how it might be like based from what I've read and heard. Busy, noisy, intimidating, unfavorable subways and rodents. It was enough for me to think twice before even considering exploring the city on my own, but I realized by the end of my three-day stay in New York City that I love how diverse and full of life it was. And the best part is, the most memorable ones are those that are free. So if you only have a day or two to experience New York, let me share with you five places to go and not having to spend a fortune. New York City is one of the most expensive cities in the world where you'll find one of the most expensive and most luxurious streets, the Fifth Avenue. Because most of the designer products you'll see here are as expensive as a year of tuition from where I'm from, I spent the time instead admiring the beautiful buildings, checking out cathedrals, and wondering if the no standing anytime sign I see in the street applies to me as a pedestrian. Along 5th Avenue, make sure you drop by the Rockefeller Center. I only spent a few minutes here, but I enjoyed looking at their ice skating rink, the flags, the shops, and this interesting looking fish. You'll find almost all luxury brands and 5-star hotels such as the Penn, St. Regis, and the Plaza. Walking along 5th Avenue was a good experience for me. I was able to see another world which consists of glamour, wealth, and exclusivity which definitely doesn't apply to me but doesn't mean I can't have a full appreciation of. Walking along 5th Avenue, you'll pass by a famous urban park, the Central Park. Make sure you're wearing your most comfortable shoes because this park is enormous. I was not able to completely explore it but it's definitely in my to-do list. Because I came here in the early hours of the day in winter, the place doesn't have a lot of tourists. And because it was cold, I savored every bit of sunlight that I could find. There were a lot of benches to sit and hang out, and they even have this interesting hut where you can appreciate the park at a higher vantage point. There are a lot of things to do in this park during the winter, from zoos to museum, tours, and I heard even sledding and skiing. By the way, New York has a lot of pigeons, even more so here in Central Park. I remember deciding not to cross a particular section of the park and just take a detour because there were a lot of pigeons busily pecking on the streets. Another popular tourist place to go to that I thoroughly enjoyed was the Times Square. We went at night and as expected, there were a lot of tourists lights, billboards, people in costumes, food stalls, stores, and Broadway. I remember visiting Sephora, the M&M's, and the Hershey store. For dinner, we went to Junior's, and if you want the tastiest and most delicious piece of cheesecake, order this piece now at Junior's, and it's worth every penny. Imagine after riding the subway, and at the end of your journey, you'll be welcomed by a magnificent, exquisitely designed terminal that looks like an expensive ballroom with a beautifully decorated ceiling. Welcome to the Grand Central Terminal. I only spent less than 15 minutes here, but I have already fallen in love with this beautiful piece of history. Last but not least, Soho. I had two stores in particular that I specifically wanted to go to, the Glossier flagship store and Everlane. Both stores are so popular that you have to fall in line in order to get in. But let me tell you right now that waiting outside the cold winter of New York was worth it. I guess comparing it to the streets of 5th Avenue, the stores here in Soho has a more millennial and relaxed feel to it. Yes, New York City is still big, it's still intimidating, but I loved every minute of it. When I come back, I would explore the whole Central Park, visit the museums, and try out their food trucks. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I would love to hear your thoughts, experiences, and recommendations when visiting New York. 
please click the subscribe button below to be notified of my next episode. See you next time!